Let us now see the types of triangle and this time we are going to see on an angle basis. On the basis of angle, the triangle can be classified into three categories. The first one is an acute angled triangle. The second is a right angled triangle. And the third is an obtuse angled triangle. Before we get into what exactly each one of them means, first let's look at what a right angle is. A right angle is an angle of 90 degree, right? When you talk about an acute angle, an acute angle is something which is less than 90 degree, whereas an obtuse angle is something which is greater than 19 degree, sorry, 90 degree. So the classification comes in from 90 degree. If you are 90, you are right. If you are less than 90, you are acute. If you are greater than 90, you are an obtuse angle. And that is the characteristics which define what an acute angled, right angled or obtuse angled triangle is. Let us look at that. So when we talk about an acute angled triangle, what it refers to is a triangle when all the angles of a triangle are acute angles. We call it an acute angled triangle, which means in this case, neither any of the angle is going to be 90 degree, which is a right angle, right? nor any angle is going to be more than 90 degree, which is an obtuse angle, which means that all the angles in this case are acute or in other words, none of the angle is 90 degree or more, right? Whether you refer to angle A, B or C, neither of them will be 90 degree or more. In such a case, the triangle will be an acute angled triangle. A right angle triangle. When one angle of a triangle is 90 degree and the other two angles are acute, then we call it a right angled triangle. What this means is that one of the angles, let's say in this case we have referred it to angle B over here is 90 degree. The other two are acute. So this one is acute 1. This one is acute 2. Although I've mentioned this point, this actually goes by itself. So like I told you earlier, the sum total of all the triangles, all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. If one of them is 90, the sum of the other two has to be 90. How? 180 minus 90, which is this angle. The remaining two angles, let's say we call it as angle A and angle C. This one and this one has to be 90 degree. In a triangle, no angle can be zero degree, which means even if one of them is one degree, the other one has to be 89 degree. So both of them will be less than 90 degree and therefore they cannot be an obtuse angle, right? So just to summarize, in a right angle triangle, one side is 90 degree, the other two are acute angles. In an obtuse angled triangle, one of the angles, if one of the angle of a triangle is obtuse, which means it is greater than 90 degrees. So in this case, angle ABC, okay, if you refer to this, this is greater than 90 degree. So normally your 90 degree would be something like a straight line, a perpendicular coming to a particular straight line, right? Since this is going more than this, it is greater than 90 degree. So if one is greater than 90 degree, let's say even if it is 91 degree, the other two will be what? The sum of other two will be 180 minus 91. Or in other words, 89 degree, right? So none of them can ever be 90 degree or more than 90 degree, which means none of them can be a right angle or an obtuse angle, which means that these other two angles have to be acute angle. So just to summarize what we learned in this video, one, what is an acute angle? an angle which is less than 90 degree, a right angle, an angle which is 90 degree, an obtuse angle, an angle which is greater than 90 degree. An acute angle triangle is the one in which all the three angles are acute 
in a right angled one is 90 degree a right angle the other two are acute in an obtuse one is greater than 90 degree and the other two are acute angles